What? Get out of here, that's Chan. Uh, you look a bit... <laughs> different. What? I can wear whatever I want. No, of course, I, I just, just meant to say... You look good in that dress. Alright, we are back to some more boot here today. Just when you thought things could not get any weirder, well, things get weirder. There's now apparently government-appointed robots occasionally doing deliveries to make sure there's no smuggling of contraband going on. And it uh, does seem as well like Ned is trying to inquire about possibly <laughs> taking control of a spinner, which is those vehicles that we see most of the delivery people on, to possibly escape. And I believe this... Oh, that's you. I'm expecting as well the return of the call girl massage. I'm not sure when I was going to show up, but we paid for it last time around. Hello, Nasty Nastia. How are you doing today? Good evening. I brought what you ordered last time. Good. I already forgot what that was again. Good evening, Mr. Crawford. You've been up here for a while. Oh, we're actually doing small talk for once. How about that? I guess life settled down a bit. Uh, yeah. Pretty much. How about the new equipment? You got the hang of it yet? Well, still trying. Good. So, while the iron is hot, here's another piece of equipment. Another one? I know. Relax, this should be the last one for a while before any new requirements by the NFSA come out. Microscope? Just put it on the table, like what the stamp said. Why aren't you gonna do it? <laughs> Careful with the glass. Oh, so last time it was very imperative. When I had somebody in my room, it was very imperative for you to come in and install it. This over here, you know, you know go and do it? Go do it. Fine. And one more thing. Remember the newcomer tournament? The Resulting Edition is out today. Ooh. Did I win? That's right. And you'll be hearing from me directly. Uh, okay. When would that be? Now, of course. Huh? Congrats. Oh, boys, we did it! That's the audition. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I'm, like, I'm probably excited to be, like, you know, led to the slaughter over here. Yeah, we did it! What's my prize? You're gonna die. Oh. I did? Yes. And that even comes with a prize. Well, it's the first year they've had a prize for that, so lucky you. Wow, that's just... What's the prize? Tell me you didn't get your hopes up. It's just a one day off from work. Oh. But you get to leave the boot. Really? Yes, with one condition, though. You have to spend it with one of the girls from our designated restaurant. <laughs> so you're forcing me to go on a day with one of the girls? That's actually not bad. Think of it as a work relationship building. Make it meaningful. That's what the great people said at the roundtable meeting. So, based on your order history, we've already decided on who's going to be your company. Oh, really? I don't get to choose it? You guys choose it for me? It's a... Uh, a little bit weird now, isn't it? Ooh. Okay. I, I would have gone with Yori, but I guess we have been leaning pretty hard on Chan recently because we were trying to learn more about her, so we have been ordering a lot more food from her recently. The one day off is just the day after tomorrow. Commuting time deducted, you'll have about five hours in town. So please call her up tomorrow to discuss their plans in advance. Got it. By the way, we've informed the girl already, so you don't have to explain. All thought of for you, isn't it? Indeed, thank you. Yes, yeah, so it's very totalitarian, though, isn't it? I will once again. We we have to someday win something, man. Oh, look at this. Pudin. It's the first time we've seen Pudin. Officially selected as the best dessert of the item is here, made from imported organic eggs. Mm -hmm. Tender is the Tide. A bestseller novel about a love story happened by the Sea of I... Um, let's, let's go ahead and buy the pudding, this book that I don't have yet. Now, you guys, not you guys, but some people have been asking me to show this woman this right here. Okay, so I put a lot of thought into this. I have not wanted to do it. I think it's a terrible idea. I'll tell you this much. If something terrible happens, I am not opposed to safe scumming out of this. So I'm finally going to do it. You guys want me to show the black bottle? I'm going to show her the black bottle.
I don't think I should show this to her. She'll know I took it from work. Oh! Oh, so that's it? <laughs> Alright, I, I did what you guys wanted me to do. I did it. And apparently I can't even show it to her. Perfect. Well, I'm off the hook then. I did my part. Okay, so I went and ordered some food from Yori's place so we catch up with Yori here a little bit. I guess tomorrow we might have to forcefully get Chinese food so we also get the... Give Chan the heads up, I guess, right? Good evening. Today there's two rounds of work. Firstly, some food and empty bottles. This time we'll have to make finished products. Sterilize each one of them before they go straight to the food supply station. I'm sure you don't want to be the reason of someone's food poisoning. What about the microscope? I guess we're not using it yet. Alright. Let's pop this open. What do you got for me here today? Okay, seems normal enough. 337. Too big. Get out of here. Alright, we are coming to the end here and. Should be a perfect day. Didn't have to use the microscope, no special items came through, so. I guess we're not done yet. Okay. Okay, the second round. Some fish in quadruped. Pause? Why does it sound so awkward? You know what to do. Do I? <laughs> do I really? I've never messed with paws before. A huge ass paw. What does this belong to? A bear? It's red. Get out of here. All right. So we are done. Unless there's a sudden third patch surprise. Pause again. We're kind of weird, but that's self okay, good. Well, at least we should hopefully get some good cash for today, right? Which gives us a better chance to get some more of those massages. M mas massage. Apparently, I'm hungry. Massages, so we could probably, hopefully, get some more of the Katja thing. And if not, we learn more from me, so it's fine. Okay. Doorbell, that should be Yori, if I'm correct, unless it's gonna be a robot again. Oh god, it is a robot. Dude! Okay, so... We have an order from a different place after the robot showed up the first time from Chan's place, right? So this is the first time we've ordered from Yori's place, and I have a feeling that the next time I order from Elodie's place, we'll also get the robot, maybe? It's like they're sending a robot through each and every single chain to see if maybe somebody's smuggling something. I think that's how it's playing out, anyway. Hello, Mr. Ned Crawford. Uh, it's you again. Yes, it's me again. Is this frequency normal? Frequence. I like frequency. I also like mad. I like things in order. Aren't they beautiful? Well, you're not exactly answering my question. Now, Mr. Crawford, here is your takeout. And lastly, a gift. Again. I didn't government sense its regards. You see, now it's telling me that it was it did come from him, so my last time was indeed a mistake. Alright, what's the gift? Let's go find out. Should I be worried? Are the government keeping more tabs on me now sending this robot? I don't know. But you know what? Well, tomorrow, unfortunately, we have to call Chan just so we can set up that thing anyway. So the day after, we're gonna definitely call Lodi and see if we get the robot again. My... My hates? My hates? I mean, the literal thing for me right now would be my hates. One of the most... One of the commonest snacks in Aiden, crispy with quadruped milk inside. So these two right here are the ones that we've gotten as gifts from the government. Alright. Well, I guess we go to bed. Or not. Doorbell. Oh, I could be. That could be Call Girl. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do we get Katya? Or is this gonna be A again? What are you doing there, creepy ass Joseph? Hey there. Oh, uh, hey. I know what you are thinking. Nope, this is not awkward at all. Oh, I beg to differ, Joseph. You have your needs, I have mine. Totally normal. Maybe you don't have to say it out loud? Oh, my bad. Just met a pretty awkward customer back there, you know. Anyway, money first, please. Good. I'll pick her up in an hour. Feodora! 
Oh, it's no longer A. Now we have Fiodora. You can come out! Alright then, you know the rules. She touches you only. Have fun. Um, shall we talk about it in the boot? Sure. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not sure. I guess we just gotta keep doing it and maybe eventually we suddenly get caught you. So, uh, <laughs> well, what should I do now? Just relax first. What's your name? Call me Ned. Okay, Ned. Nice to meet you. I know I'm probably not that kind of girl you're expecting, but I'll try to make it worth your money. Now lie down in your bed, please. <laughs> you're not you're not wasting any time, are you? Face down. I'm not into that kinky stuff, Feodora. Close your eyes. And imagine yourself being at the place where you can relax the most. Slowly following your thoughts and memories. Okay, tell me. Where are you now? I'm nowhere. What do you mean, nowhere? I'm in the dark. Sorry. Are you comfortable being in the dark? I guess. Then it should have the same effect. Here we go. Slapping noises in the dark. Alright, Ned. It's about time. Oh, already? Glad you didn't wish it would end sooner. <laughs> no, why, why would I? Many customers just hate to spend one more minute with a young girl like me. Um, how young are we talking here, Fyodor? I don't want to get caught up with some sort of business here, you know? It's time. Let's talk outside. Got a great massage for 20. Hello, sir. Hope you've had a good time. If you want more, which is probably the case, you're most welcome to call us again. And hey, you'll probably get a different girl next time. Alright, I'll leave you two to say goodbye. <laughs> what am I, collecting Pokemon here? Next time, you'll probably get a different one! So, Ned, this is it then. You gave a hell of a good massage, Fyodora. Thanks. Mm, my pleasure. And also, don't let those words get to you, you know? We all grow old in time. Why are you being so kind to someone you may never... You may never gonna see again in your life? Take care of yourself up here, Ned. Well, it's because Ned's a little bit... Socially awkward, is what I kind of get from Ned. But he's also has a good heart, I mean... If we could all, if all of us were capable of just being nice to strangers at all times, I think the world would be a better place. That's all I'm going to say. It's almost scary to get this one day off and be able to spend it with Chan right after what I was thinking yesterday. Got to make good use of it. Not just to relax. Which I definitely need, though. <laughs> that is true. We were thinking about um the spinner. Now we get a whole day off with her. It's going to be kind of awkward considering, you know, Chan's not a really big talker. Joy! We are finally in the pluses. I'm plus five in the surplus. All right. Next time I do it, though, I'll probably end up losing it in more, so... But for the meantime, we are finally up. Fyodora, a lady who works at, a, uh, at Call Girl. I was giving a service of massage by her, which cost a thousand. Good evening. I believe you've all got the microscope. We'll put it to use right away because we're about to check some premium crabs and chickens. Microscope is crucial when checking raw meat products so you'll never know what kind of germs they'll get out there. That said, we have picked up the most dangerous among them for you to avoid. Go through each one of them make sure they do not have a germ like that. Throw away those that do. That's the germ? Can I see the germ now? <laughs> I see no germ. Okay, uh... Let's go with clown. Germ? There it is. Okay, it doesn't have to have a germ like that. What the hell is that? I have no idea. Microscope? Oh, that's it right there, right? Oh, the germ moves. Throw it away. Germ, germ? 
Is that it right there? That's definitely it. <laughs> so if it, if it doesn't have the germ, we do have to test the color. Okay, this one seems to be good. You also have to be red. You're blue. Get out of here. Germ? Oh, there it is. Get out of here. Okay, apparently just nothing's gonna come in through today. Yeah, like a lot of them have the germs, and those that didn't have the germs rarely ever met the color that needed, so... I don't know, I think we got like four through? You'll tell me how many we got through? Well, no, 70 to how many we checked. Doesn't tell me how many I left through, but I think it was like four or three or four. It really wasn't much. Alright. Let's, uh, go meet our girl, Chan. I know you're gonna be excited about this, Chan. You get to spend an entire day with me. I know how social you are. Look one fast food. Uh, hi there. Um, have you... Yeah, I've been told. Oh. So, this one day off? Didn't really... know it existed before. They just started experimenting it since about two years ago. Experimenting? Well, for what I've heard, try to make it a regular thing. Really? That'd be great news for us inspectors. I guess so. Anyway, sir, where do you plan to go? Oh, right, uh, let me see. I need to go to the care center for sure. And before that, maybe we can go somewhere fun? What do you say? I wouldn't mind some fun. Great. So, um... Oh, we get to choose. Alright. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what do you- what do you the guys think Chan would like? Karaoke box? I don't know, she doesn't talk much. I don't, I don't think she wants to get out there and start singing. I think a mountaintop might be the best choice for her. Let's go to the mountaintop. Which mountain? The highest in town. Hey, sounds nice. You like nature? If you mean relaxing hours, yes. All right, I think we made a good- I, I wonder if, like, any of them would have worked out, but I think, at least for her personality, the mountaintop just kind of fits the best way. I had a sweet long sleep on my first work day off. It's been less than a month since I left the city. But it feels like forever ago. Time to leave. All right. What time is it? Oh, oh what, are you, what are you doing here? I forgot what voice I gave you at this point, so I'm going to just improvise. It's been some time, Mr. Crawford. Glad to know you've been doing great. Oh, damn it. See, I don't remember your voices at all, so now I got to improvise two voices. Yeah, but I'm still waiting to see him break. That's the most interesting part of this job for me. Edgar? Oh, sorry. Okay, so you ready, sir? Ah, uh, wait, do I have to prepare anything? That should be Ned saying that, right? Uh, do I need to prepare anything? Yeah, that should have been Ned saying that. Uh, this, those are the things that throw me off on occasion when I'm doing dialogue in this game. Not really. A oh, hard to relax, maybe. And just remember to be at the meeting point on time. The airship won't wait. See, that should be Ned again, right? Sure. And then come on, get on. Everyone's waiting. Yeah, we picked up all the others already. You're the last. Come on. Oh, so I guess we're gonna probably see a one in there too, huh? Interesting. Man, we're so weird be leaving the boot for first time in ever. Look at this. We're actually getting to see outside the boot for once. It's been a while since I last visited here. Can't see too many people on the streets. They must be lining up for food at the supply stations around this time. A girl standing across the street. Is it her? What? Get out of here, that's Chan? Hey. Hi. Uh, you look a bit... <laughs> different. What? I can wear whatever I want. No, of course, I, I just, just meant to say... You look good in that dress. Thanks. And the weather is quite good today, isn't it? 
Oh, please. Anything but the weather talk. What? I mean, it's, it's true. It's not raining or anything, right? The rain with the dust in the air getting all mixed and stinky. That would have ruined the day for us. Fair enough. So, what's the schedule today? Well, not so much of a schedule, but we've got about five hours. Let's go to the mountaintop first and visit the care center on our way back. Also, I suppose we can talk about what you meant with the note. Oh, sweet! Hell yeah! Sure. When we find somewhere safer. Okay. And a reminder, five hours may not be as long as you think. Is it? My sense of time got totally crooked living up there. Yeah, that happens. I'll keep an eye on the time. Thanks. Save it. Let's get moving. This is exciting. There's potential here to learn some good stuff finally. I walked with Chan for half an hour. None of us tried to have a conversation. But it didn't bother me. Before we know it, we already on the quiet forest lane leading to the mountaintop. Well, I mean, with how much conversation are you going to have with Chan, really? Oh god, can you hear it? Hear what? The sound of cicada? It's been like this for a while. Really? When was the last time you came here? I think I was at school, so maybe three or four years ago? It was that silence back then, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was. Does this mean the environment is actually getting better? Not necessarily. It's not like we didn't have a Kikata here before. I knew it when I was a kid. Who knows if they've been gone again? Sounds like you come here a lot. Enough talking. We're still a long way to the top. I may still catch the sunset if we move fast. I'm never good at sports, let alone having been living in that boot for weeks. Even so, the mountain climbing was still more exhausting than I thought. But when we reach the top, it's all worth it. <laughs> we made it. See? Just in time. I've got to say, wow. Never have I thought of it being this beautiful. I know. Do you know what's most beautiful at this very moment? The most beautiful? Don't really have an idea. What is it? Let's look at the sun right now. At this very moment, you can't even tell if it's setting or rising, can you? As if time was freezed, and you could go boat forward or backward in this river of time as you want. Never thought about it that way. And what are you thinking? I just feel being so small and everything became trivial. It's like, at least in front of the sun, we are all equally unimportant. And that somehow makes things a lot better. You know what's strange? What? I don't feel strange about you suddenly being so poetic. Well, the same goes for you. Our couple here might finally be hanging it off, you know what I'm saying? It's time. We should leave before it gets too dark. Yeah, you're right. Hope we can still have time for the care center. Hurry up then. Hey, wait. This seems like a good place to talk about the note. What's that about? Have you not figured it out by now? Well, I guess there might be some eavesdropping devices hidden in the balcony. Wrong. Okay, that's really. Did you say anything you're not supposed to out there? I might have. But wait, if it's not in the balcony... It's on the thing I was writing. What? On the spinner? Correct. But why? 
They need to make sure we're not talking about things like... Wait. But we were just having a normal conversation. Listen. I can tell you about way or other things you may want to know. But before I help you, I need you to do me a favor. What favor? Give me some rare food from your work. Rare food? What do you need them for? Something important. Don't ask. Will you help? <laughs> I don't know, man. This is, it's kind of weird. But... If it's for science, if it's for information, fine. Okay, then. I'll see what I can do. Good. It's a deal, then. Alright. It's about time to leave for the care center. Already? Told you. Five hours is not that long. Besides, it's quite a long way there, isn't it? Yeah. What? Uh, nothing. Let's get going, then. This doesn't look normal. Why are there so many people? Hurry up. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. I'm here to visit. Sorry, sir, you can't get in. Why? What happened? The patients are safe. The facility has closed for maintenance today. Maintenance? How can I have never heard of such a thing? It's all written down on the document you signed when the patient was accepted. What exactly is going on with this maintenance? Sorry, we've just been told to guard the gate. Come on, you know there's no use arguing with these people. Didn't you know about this when you signed? I didn't read the document at all. That's a terrible idea there, Ned. What? Because I couldn't afford it anywhere else. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not like they're closing it forever. Yeah. Hey, you wanna grab some food before getting back? You don't have the time for a proper dinner, but I know a pretty good takeout place. Don't tell me it's food long. Well, take a guess. We walked two blocks and arrived at a food stall called Paprika, which is selling some synthesized spicy food I'd never seen. Maybe it's because of the inspector's outfit I'm wearing. We got an extra dish for free. After getting the food, we quickly headed back to the meeting point. And got on the airship, just in time. Thanks for the company today. And for choosing Paprika over Fuquang. Not at all. Too bad you couldn't get into the care center, though. Yeah, I know. But I had a good break today, at least. Ready to get back to normal? Well, it's not normal, normal, but yeah. Okay, then. I guess I'd better go. See you again. Bye. Yesterday was a blessing. I got to throw almost everything behind for a day, and the view at the top was truly stunning. Even the climbing felt less tiring with the company. I can't remember the last time I felt like this. Maybe life here is not that intolerable. If only. We went to climb up the highest mountain in Aiden during my day off. In front of the stunning sunset at the top, we all became a little bit out of ourselves. In a good way. With that, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for this, and hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.